and one who miraculously survived. And his story, as you're going to see, is one of the rare ones with a happy ending. First, Barbara Olson, who was aboard American Airlines Flight 77 when it crashed into the Pentagon. And her husband, Ted Olson, is the Solicitor General of the United States. Ted and Barbara Olson were one of Washington's most powerful couples. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Fine. Before the president appointed him as Solicitor General, he was best known for successfully arguing the Florida election case for George W. Bush before the Supreme Court. Barbara Olson was a well-known conservative television commentator and very spirited. Suddenly, if you're a prosecutor, the whole world is lying about Gary Condit or <laughs> Gary Condit is lying. They were married just five years ago. Barbara Olson was originally scheduled to fly on Monday, but at the last minute, she changed her plans. Why did she change her plans? My birthday was Tuesday, and she wanted to be at home with me um, on Monday night, and at least to see, so that we could see one another in the morning before uh, she left. Take us through that terrible day. When did you first know that something was wrong. One of the um, assistants in my office at the Department of Justice came in and told me that my wife Barbara was on the telephone. Uh, I was relieved because I had known she had gotten on a plane. She was leaving from Dallas in Washington. Yes, that's in, correct. In Virginia, yeah. And then you receive a phone call from the plane. Is that what happened? Yes, I was relieved that she was on a plane and she was speaking to me. Then she told me that her plane had been hijacked. Now, we spoke for a minute or two before our communications were cut. She called again a few moments later. She wanted to know what she could do, what she could tell the pilot. Um, I asked her where she was in the airplane. She had started off in the first class section. She told me that she and the passengers had been herded to the back of the airplane, that the hijackers had taken over the plane with knives and box cutters. Mr. Olson, when your wife said, what should I tell the pilots, does that mean that the pilots were with her in the back of the plane? It gave me the impression that, that maybe one of the pilots or both of them were in the back of the airplane with her. You told your wife about the two crashes in yes. New York. Yes, I felt that she had to know that. Um, we, we reassured one another that everything was going to come out okay that her plane was still in the air and all this was going to come out all right, but I, I was almost certain in my heart that it wasn't, and I suspect she, she was equally pessimistic, but she did not, she did not panic, she was calm. What were the last words that you said to your wife? Uh, our last words had to do with our love for one another um, and that we would see one another soon, but we didn't know the conversation was about to end because uh, the signal was just suddenly abruptly cut off. What would you most like people to know about Barbara Olson? Barbara Olson was a, um, an extraordinary, um, dynamic person. Barbara had been a ballet dancer, a, a movie producer, a prosecutor. Barbara participated in life and loved people and loved life. She would not have gone quietly. And I'll bet she didn't.